is part 144 of ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to check if the request method is a GET or a POST in MVC. This is continuation to part 143, so please watch part 143 before proceeding with this video. In ASP.NET Web Forms, we can use isPostBack property to check if the request is a GET or a POST request. This isPostBack property belong to the page class that is present in system.web.ui namespace. We don't have this page class in ASP.NET MVC. So to check if the request is a GET or a POST request in MVC, we use HTTP method property of the request object. Let's look at using this with an example. Here I have a blank ASP.NET MVC4 application. First let's add a controller and let's name it home controller and let's include a private method within this controller and I want this method to return a boolean true or false so if it's a post request then we want this method to return true otherwise false so let's name this method is post or you can give it any meaningful name you want and we use request objects HTTP method property to check the request type, whether if it's a get or rec uh, post. If you look at the return type, look at this, it is returning a string. So if it's a get request, this property is going to return, you know, a string, get. Otherwise, if it's a post, it's going to return post. And we want this method to return true if it's a post, otherwise false. So we're going to return whatever this expression resolves to. So if this expression resolves to, to true, then we know it's a POST request, otherwise it's a GET request. Okay, And we're going to store the value that, met, that this method is going to return in a view bag object. So let's use a view bag object and let's use a dynamic expression here. We can give it any meaningful name. So let's use isPostBag and we are going to set the value to whatever this method is going to return. And we want this method to respond to the get request, HTTP get request. Let's make a copy of this index action method. And we want this index action method to respond to HTTP post request. Okay. And uh, if we try to build this at this point, we'll get a compiler error. That's basically because within a controller you can't have two methods with the same signature. So let's go ahead and change this to index underscore post. And then let's use action name attribute and specify that we want this to respond to this action name with the URL, index action. All right, now let's go ahead and add a view. Let's name it index. And let's include an h3 tag here. Is post back equals whatever we have stored in the view bag object. So within view bag, we have used this dynamic expression. So that's going to print that you know, whatever value that is stored in that property. Now let's also include a submit button here. Let's put that inside a form tag. So let's use this using statement. So this begin form helper is going to generate the form tag for us. And we have wrapped that call um, inside a using block so that a closing form tag is also automatically generated. And then here, let's include an input type equals submit and the value on that equals submit. All right. So let's go ahead and run this now. So we should actually navigate to the index action. Let's actually run with debugging so that we can actually place a breakpoint and see what does the HTTP method property returns. Look at that, you know, when we first type slash home slash index. Let's actually put a breakpoint within our controller. And let's hit the submit button. 
look at that now since we clicked the submit button what did we do we are issuing a post request okay so when I press F10 it goes into East post so let me press F11 now and F10 and look at this HTTP method what is what is the string it is returning it's returning post okay so let me press F5 now look at that East post back true on the other hand if I click on the URL and hit enter we are issuing a get request so at that point you know this action method is responding and then when we press F10 and F11 F10 and if you look at the HTTP method it's a get request so basically with an ASP.NET MVC we can use this HTTP method property of the request object to check if the request is a get or a post request that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day